Welcome one and all to the Ouija God channel. Finger for love. It was the most brutal homicide I'd ever worked. Edmund Police Department, Lieutenant Christy Hopper told criminal confessions. A bloody hammer was at the crime scene, but that was not the murder weapon. Morgan had been found beaten and stabbed to death in an alleyway on October 18th, 2009. He had suffered hundreds of puncture wounds and one of his fingers had been severed and taken by the assailant. Three weeks after the murder of Morgan, a man walked into the Edmond, Oklahoma police station claiming to know the identity of the killer. Sean Parker said he knew who was responsible for Morgan's death. It was my wife's friend, Connor Mason. The day Morgan's body was discovered, Mason visited us at our house holding a plastic glove filled with blood. Mason had dated Holden in high school. He handed the bag to her, and she started getting all excited. Parker asked his wife what Mason gave her. She responded, it's a finger. Parker asked Mason if it was real. He replied, well, it all depends on are you going to call the cops or not. Murdering someone and severing part of their body to present as a love offering. It was just absolutely mind-blowingly sick, Detective Kane said. In order to gather more evidence, Parker agreed to wear a wire and discuss the incident with his wife. When he confronted Holden about the finger, she said, I think you are just jealous because Connor did this for me. Mason pled guilty to first-degree murder and was given life in prison, later reduced to 40 years. He will be eligible for parole in the year 2047. Is this story faked or fact? Is this a true story or did I make it up? You let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Ouija God channel if you are new. And as always, guys, have a good day or night. Ouija got out.